Hello, welcome to the Maya Tubel. This is Michael. Today we got a bit of a request. Uh, this is from George. He says, Do you know if there's an option for inserting multiple curve points which Maya will distribute evenly along the curve? And I think there's a couple ways to go about doing that. Thanks again for the request, George. Uh, let's see about one of the ways in particular we can try this. Let's go to Create CV Curve Tool. And I'm just going to actually double click down here and change my curve degree to linear and then I can just click 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 so I got three clicks and now I have like this uh, 90 degree curve here I'm going to hide my grid right click and choose edit point and hopefully you can see I got three edit points one at the very end of each side of the curve and one in the middle so if I wanted to insert a curve point evenly evenly along this curve, there's a couple ways we can try and do this. Uh, for example, this rebuild curve, you could select the curve and let me hit uh, Control A for the attributes. You see right now I have two spans. There's one, two, since it's a linear uh, curve. If I go to Edit Curves, Rebuild Curve, and obviously I have a video going over Rebuild Curve already. Let's change the spans to say, I don't know, let's say 8. And we want to keep tangents and the endpoints and keep it to be linear for in this case. And hit rebuild. You can see my shape changes a little bit, but if I go back to edit points, you'll see now they're kind of evenly distributed along the curve, 8 spans worth of points. And you can uh, adjust these points and kind of line them back up if you need it to be, you know, straight. So now I have the same shape I originally had, and thanks to Rebuild Curve, I can I have all these points along the curve. And that works for not just linear curves, obviously that would work for uh, cubic curves as well. But I wanted to talk about another tool, since that's what we do here, and let's look at the insert not tool. It edit curves, insert not. This kind of gives us another way of doing similar things. Let's delete this curve, bring back my grid, and let's go make a new one. Let's go to create CV curve tool. Let's change it to cubic. So it's nice and round, or curvy, I should say. So we got this. So if I right click, edit point, Go back to my black background. These are my points. These are the points that I clicked for the edit points. So they're not necessarily evenly distributed at all. But if say I wanted to insert another point over here, if I right click on my curve and select curve point, I can click and drag and choose a point on this curve to add or insert a knot. Under edit curves, again we're under our surfaces module edit curves, insert not. I just click it and then right click and go back to edit points. I now have a new edit point right here. Let's undo that. Select my curve point again. Edit curves, insert not. And let's look at the options. Let me close the attributes. There we go. So insert not, edit reset here. We've got insert location at selection is default or between selections if you have multiple curve points selected it will insert between the two then you have multiplicity mode which is this first one is and the second one is multiplicity value multiplicity mode you have set to or increase by and then you have multiplicity value which is one by default and then the keep original checkbox for keep original, like anytime you see the keep original checkbox, what that essentially means is it'll duplicate your original and make your changes to the new one while keeping the old one. So you have you'll end up with two curves in this case, one being the old curve we've already made, and the new one being the curve with the inserted knots. So insert location at selection, multiplicity one, and increase by one not set to one but increased by one so if we hit a insert and this is still the default value so we're going to get the same result as before insert to not right here 
Let's open the attributes. You see I have five spans. My min max value is zero to four. That's because if I undo the insert. So now I have four spans, min max value zero to four. That's the uh, original state of the curve when I created it. If you insert a knot anywhere, edit curves, insert knot, you see I have five spans now because I've created a new span, but my min max value is still zero to four. So keep that in mind if you ever want to, uh, if you need to rebuild the curve afterwards and just change that min max value for reasons that we've talked about before. Uh, check out the rebuild curve video. It has a lot of information about this kind of stuff. But right now we're talking about inserting knots. We'll right click and choose curve point and let's just select two points. Edit curves, insert knot options with all the same values hit apply and now I have new points at those locations as well. So I'm inserting knots but not necessarily inserting them in ways that would evenly distribute them. I think rebuild curve is probably the best uh, solution for that in particular. Um, let's go ahead and rebuild this curve. Actually let's make a new curve and one that's not quite so dense of, with spans. Hide my grid. I'm going to go to display NURBS and let's use edit points. So now even though my curve is not selected the edit points are visible. I think that might make this a little bit easier to demonstrate. So right click curve point. If I select two points let's say here and here hold down shift to select more than one point. Edit curves, insert knot, options. You see instead of insert location at selection we can choose between selections. So if I choose between selections you'll see multiplicity mode uh, grays out and now we're looking at number of knots to insert. So it wants to know how many knots do you want to insert between these two locations. If we say one, and let's keep original so we can get a good comparison, hit apply. If I move this one over, and I need to display knots on this one as well, or as edit points I should say. So between those two locations, now you see it also inserted knots at the two points I had selected. And then also up here, between the two, it inserted a knot as well. So it actually inserts three knots because it chooses, uh, it inserts knots uh, where you have the two points selected. And then in between, it inserts however many you choose to add in this slider. So if I delete this one, choose this one again, and let's choose curve point. Let's say you put one at the very end, shift select at the very end, so between the two ends, let's insert five knots. Apply. Again, display my edit points. You'll see the difference. So in the original, you see you have these two edit points here, which we still have right here, right here. And now it's added these three because it uses the original two points because we're using the end points. It kind of counts those as two, even though it doesn't necessarily add them. So those are two, one, two, and then three, four, five. So it takes a little bit of uh, experimenting maybe to get the kind of result you're looking for. And again, it's not necessarily evenly distributed. I still think the rebuild curve is probably the best way to go about getting it completely evenly distributed. You create your curve and then rebuild it. And, you know, just look at these options here. Again, we've already talked about a lot of these in another video, but if you want to keep the endpoints, keep the tangents, or even keep the number of spans and you just want to rebuild it so that it's redistributed the points, your rebuild type being uniform should uh, do that. Let's look at the other options for insert knots. Take this one. Edit curves, insert knots, options, there it is. So we had insert location at selection and in between selections. Let's go back to at selection so our multiplicity uh, mode comes back. So if I choose a point, let's say right here, and let's reset our settings actually. Multiplicity increase by however many at this point. You can also say set to. 
So if we say increase by, let's choose, I don't know, let's choose five as another example. Keep original, apply. Let's move it over here. Display, nerves, edit points again. So you see we got our new edit point right here. If I right click and choose control vertex, you'll see a lot more points, however. What it's done is it inserted five knots at that one point. And this is the result we get. And since we're displaying edit points uh, and CVs at the same time, it's a little bit confusing, but uh, let's go back to edit point. So you see here, whenever I choose this edit point and then move it, it's very sharp. If I were to, let's make another one, and instead set the multiplicity back to one, increase by one at selection, hit apply. So here's our third comparison. Let me display the edit points again. Nerves, edit points. And select this point and move it. You see a different result. So if you insert multiple knots in one point at one location, you're going to increase the sharpness of that knot. The sharpness value, if you will. You'll see this one has... Our original curve has three spans. Our third curve, one we did with default values, has four spans because we increased it by one knot. However, this one in right here where we increased it by five has six spans. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind. If you want a sharper point, increase the, increasing the knots will uh, give you that, 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 uh, that result. I think that's pretty much it. We have insert location at selection or between selections. And again, choosing between changes the value of the slider to be the number of knots to insert as opposed to a multiplicity value. Multiplicity can be set to or increased by. So with the increase by, you're increasing the number of knots at the selected location. And with set to selected, what you're doing is you're changing that point to have have however many knots you're choosing in your multiplicity value. I had actually finished recording and I realized I had forgotten something to mention about insert knot. Let's create a new curve real quick. Okay, so I have my new curve here. I'm going to rebuild it because right now if I go to control A you'll see for attributes you'll see I have my min max value is 0 to 7. I really want this to be 0 to 1. I just think that makes it easier and also whenever you're dealing with the values of the curve. I think 0 to 1 just makes things easier and things work better in other tools and other commands. So we're going to edit curve, rebuild curve, options, whoops, options, there we go. Edit, reset. So I have seven spans right now. I just want to keep the number of spans. Uh, keep the endpoints, that's fine. Even keep the CVs. Uh, so, but we want to change the perimeter range of 0 to 1. That's the main thing I'm looking for to do. So check CVs to keep everything. Perimeter range 0 to 1. And then rebuild. Okay. So now my perimeter range, min max value, 0 to 1, 7 spans. That's what I wanted to see. Right click, curve, choose a curve point. Actually, before I do that, let me do it to display, NURBS, edit points, so you can see the edit points we already have. And then right click and choose a point between them. Change my background a little bit easier to see, hopefully. Edit curves, insert not options. Okay. Edit reset. The main things we want to do is check keep original because if you keep turn on keep original, you will have a history item that you can be that can be edited in the channel box. If you keep if you do not check keep original, you do not have that history because it, you're deleting the old curve and making a new one. Well, with keep original, you're keeping the old curve and making a new one. So now you have a history connection. I'm going to change my multiplicity value to 5 just to make it that sharp point we saw before. And insert. Now move my new curve over here. And display, nerves, edit points. There we go. So now you can see I have my new point right here. If I right click and choose, edit, select the edit point. You can see if I move it, it's not this nice sharp point I have here. Let's say I want to change the position of this point now that I've already made it. 
If I select my curve and go over here to the Chenna box, you'll see I have Insert Not Curve 1 input. This input is not there if you do not have keeps, uh, Keep Original checked in the options, by the way. So if I choose this option here and middle click and drag, you might want to hold down Control to have a, a more fine-tuned control over it. You can see that my edit point moving along the curve. So you can change the position of a point after you've made it. So again, to get back to George's question about evenly distributing points, if you do not want to rebuild the curve, you could try and in insert the points one at a time, or all at once, I should say. Select your endpoints, insert five knots you know, that are between the two selections, and then change the value of each knot to be evenly distributed with this perimeter, uh, perimeter value. And again, I'm just holding that control, middle mouse clicking and dragging to change the position of that inserted knot. You can also choose this and go to show manipulator. And you see on my original curve, this diamond shape appears. If you click and drag it, it also will change the position based on where this diamond shape ends up. So I forgot to mention that before. Sorry about that. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little bit more about inserting knots in the curves or, and rebuilding them. And hopefully, George, I answered your question. Thanks again, and have a great day.